All right. So when you do the range of your data, you do the highest minus the lowest. That's what we learned yesterday. The problem with range is that it also includes all of your outliers. So that can skew your results. Um, and you don't want that. So instead, we have another type of range, which is called the interquartile range. And what that does is it finds the range of the middle 50% of your data. So any scores that are you know, extremely on the high side or on the low side, they don't count. Okay, It just tells you where your middle 50% of people are. So the formula is in the box there. IQR stands for interquartile range is equal to Q3 minus Q1. Now the Qs stand for quartiles. To work this out, we have to divide our data into quarters, which is why they're called quartiles. Okay? So I'm going to show you how to do this in the example. Example number one, it says consider the following set of data, and there's a bunch of scores listed there. First of all, to divide it up into quarters, I'm going to have to have all my numbers in order. So that's what number 1A there says. List the data in order from smallest to largest. So let's quickly go through. The smallest number is a 1, then a 2, then there's a couple of 3s, 4, 5, oh, another 5, 6, 6, 7, and then there's three eights. Okay, so I've put all of my numbers in order. Part B says, find the range. That's the normal range. That's the stuff that I showed you yesterday, which is simply the highest score, which is eight, minus the lowest score, which is one. Okay, so that's a range of seven. Part C, this is the part for the interquartile range. It says to find the median, the lower quartile, upper quartile, and then the interquartile range. Okay, so they're the things that we need to find. The median is our middle quartile. So there's actually three numbers that you find, a Q1, a Q2, and a Q3. The median is the Q2. And we already know how to find that. That's the middle, remember? Median is middle. So of the numbers that I have there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 scores, I want to find the middle. Let's do the crossing off method though, okay? So crossing off, I'm going to cross off from the beginning and the end. Beginning and end. Keep crossing off in pairs until I have one or two numbers left in the middle. And it turns out that there is just one number left in the middle which is the number five. And that's my median. So straight away down here, C part one, my median, which will now also be known as Q2, is equal to five. Now, if you have used a number, so I've used that number five, I'm not going to use it in the further things that I need to find. To find the Q1, the Q1 is the lower quartile. I want to take the lower numbers that are still remaining and I want to find the middle of those. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six numbers that are left. The middle, if you think of doing your crossing out, it's going to be between those two threes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So you can draw a little, when it's between, I like to draw a line in between to say it's between those two numbers. I've got three on either side. And my Q1 is going to be the average of those two numbers. Now, because they're both threes, it is going to work out to still be three. But just for future reference, the numbers won't always be the same. So you would add them together and divide by two, which means that my lower quartile is equal to three. The upper quartile, which is the Q3, that just means that you take the high numbers that are left and you find the middle of those. Remember that we're not counting the five, so there's six numbers here, so it's gonna be three and three on either side, isn't it? It's going to be between the seven and the eight. So draw a line in there, between the seven and the eight. And because it's between two numbers, I need to average them. Seven plus eight divided by two 
means that the lower quartile is 7.5. Okay, so now that we know what the quartiles are, now there is only three numbers, but I have divided my data into four sections. Why is quartiles? It's one, two, three, four. That's the four, and we're finding three numbers, which is the where they um, the two the four quarters join. Does that make sense? Yeah? So the interquartile range is the Q3 minus the Q1 for all those middle results in there. So let's write the formula down. Interquartile range equals the Q3 minus the Q1. The Q3 that we found was 7.5 and the Q1 is equal to 3. So that means that's 4.5 for the interquartile range. No, it's not that hard. Good. Let's see if I know how to stop this video.